Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. My name is Clinton Crafton with Advanced Rescue Solutions. And today we're going to talk about the Twin Tension Rescue System. The Twin Tension Rescue System is not terribly new to the fire service. It's been around since the uh, late 80s, early 90s. But there's a lot of teams that haven't adapted to it because of the way we used to do it versus how we can do the system now. The Twin Tension System differs slightly from the traditional main, traditional belay system that we're used to. And we're going to talk about why that is and how this system might be more beneficial to your team. As we start out, we've got a mannequin hanging. He's lightweight, and we can show that he's about 90 pounds or so on our uh, load cell. As we start to lower into the system and capture both lines, right now he's just on the main, so we'll go ahead and start lowering on the main so that both lines capture, and we'll see that number start to change. And the reason for that is, in this setup, we don't just have one rope that's carrying all the load. We have two ropes that are sharing the load. In that case, we also have two ropes that are sharing the anchors. So as the system captures and both lines are holding that load, it's less impact on the system, less impact on the anchors, and eventually less impact on the rescuers who start to do the haul. We'll show real quick that as we adapt to new principles and new technology, we have a traditional soft cam prusik, triple wrap prusik on one side, on the belay side or the blue side. It's not really the belay now, is it? And we also have a rescue sender on the red line. Both of these are good options. We used to stay away from hard cams on things because we were worried about shock loading failure. Uh, but used in the capture, it's not going to be that much of a problem for us. And we don't have that problem any longer when we switch to newer technology, such as the clutch, the Mastro, or the CMC MPD. Now, we can show that the, the load is shared between the two. And you can actually even see that on the tension on the lines. It's a lot lighter. So we'll go ahead and start to lower. And while we're used to having one dedicated main and one dedicated belay, they both share the load. So either one of these is the main or the belay at either time. If one fails, we are still getting 100% of that shock value on whichever anchor. So this isn't a way to reduce our anchor strength. But it does reduce the impact on the anchors while we're doing the work. We'll stop and we'll switch back to a rate now. And the same principles come into play. As we start to raise, it's less work on the rescuers. Now, in this case, we would have a true rescue haul team set up on one side and one person managing on the other side. As we see on the values on the, the uh, load cell, it's much less than what the full weight was. And stop. Now we've changed our system over to a dedicated main, dedicated belay, which is what a lot of teams still use and what a lot of us are, are used to. With the dedicated main and belay, we have 100% of the load on the main line, and we can see that it's showing close to 90 pounds, which is what we had uh, previously with the load by itself on one line. And the belay line is slightly slacked, but still tension taken out of it so that it can capture the load if anything goes wrong. With the dedicated main and belay line set up as we do traditionally, 100% of the load is on the, the main line, the main anchor, the main haul team, everything. The belay line doesn't have much load on it unless something goes wrong, and that shock value is now transmitted 100% to that anchor. With the split of the twin tension system, we reduce a lot of those forces, and we keep the entire system a lot safer. The other thing is that if there's a problem, if there's a failure, 100% of the load transfer is going to happen. But in a twin tension system, that's a lot less because there's no shock value. Now, as we look at this through a lower, go ahead and start lowering, we'll notice that those numbers will change slightly as the rope follows through the system, but it's still not going to drop down to that 45, 48 that we were seeing earlier. And again, remember, this is dealing with a lightweight dummy, only 100 pounds, not the loads we would normally be working with. So we've looked at the differences between the dedicated main, dedicated belay that most of us are used to in the, in the older systems to the newer technology that's available to us with the twin tension rescue system. This isn't as easy to do with a RPM system, Rack Pulley Mariner, but with the advent of technology like the Clutch, the CMC MPD, or the uh, Petzl Maestro, we have a lot easier systems and a lot easier transition or turnover time uh, that we can work with. This isn't for everybody. Teams that are short on manpower or short on logistics might have to stick with that dedicated main delay. Uh, but with the twin tension system, we see a lot of advantages, a lot less impact on our hardware and our anchors, and a lot of freedom to do other things. This has been Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. I'm Clinton Crafton with ARS. Thanks for watching.